A new player has arrived. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Bo Wu Tang Mountain Lion. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have a nice image of Mountain Lion, a lot of stuff that I cannot read on this side we have Mountain Lion, on uh, this side we have Mountain Lion, up top, more words and things that I cannot read, on the bottom, more words and things, caution, I know that word, I can read that, on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots, you have QR codes, if you want to scan it, go ahead and scan it, and you can open up the front flap here, you have some more product shots, some more things that I cannot read, you have a uh, Type 96B main battle tank, I can read that at least and right here you have the tray where the figure sits and that is basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have Mountain Lion, and uh, yeah, this is a line that a uh, viewer turned me on to a while back, and uh, yeah, I, I checked it out, and I was like, you know what, these look pretty cool, so I decided to pick it up, give it a look-see, see what it's all about, and uh, yeah, here is Mountain Lion in robot mode, he is packed in robot mode, and um, yeah, I really think the design looks quite, quite cool, but let's get in close, yes, yeah, so we can take a look, not at that Mountain Lion crotch, but at that Mountain Lion noggin, that's the noggin. See, really good looking head sculpt there. You got some nice gold, some nice silver there as well. The eyes painted in a nice bright not blue, kind of like a teal color. It looks really good. You get some of that in the chest as well. Um, love the paintwork on this figure. I love how they gave him a nice weathering, make him look dingy, dirty, you know, scratched up, weathered. Do quite like that. Lots of nice detail as well. You got some nice gold here on the forearms. Got some big old shoulder pads. Some gold knees. But overall, really nicely detailed figure. Got his big old feet. Then you got the tank treads. Again, have that nice weathering in them as well. Make them look dingy, dirty. Of course, you have the turret right here. Again, lots of detail. Some nice weathering. But overall, looks pretty, pretty dang good. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. You get all kinds of wiggly wiggly. You can totally look up and squirrel. You can totally do that. You can look down a little bit. Head can do a full 360. The arms can do a full 360. On a ratchet, the turret kind of gets in the way, but we can do something about that later. Arms can move in and out at two points. You have this joint right here. So you have inward and outward. Then you have this joint here, which is ratcheted. He can hit himself in the head with his own shoulder. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. Uh, you do have bicep rotation. Uh, you don't get much elbow bend under 90 degrees just due to all this works you just get a limited range of movement um, you do have wrist rotation the hands can open and close just on a single hinge there um, as far as the waist you do have waist rotation you have to kind of lift up the slap here but you have that waist rotation uh, legs okay, if you kind of move the flap out of the way you can move forward about that far back about that far let's remove the turret move back about that far if you remove the turret outward you can get the full splits. Again, that's on a ratchet. You get thigh rotation. You get 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and you can see like the uh, the knee pad there will kind of move with it. As far as the feet go, uh, the feet can move up, they can move down. There's no rotation, but you do get some ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, you just get his weapon right here. You get a big old spear, javelin, whatever. And you can see tip there done in a nice silver again the rest of it has that nice weathering pass there make it look all dingy and dirty and you can just open his fingers up put that right in his hand close it up and he holds it nice and securely so you can poke 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 and all of that good stuff right there and another thing we can do is we can remove this whole hey we can remove this whole turret section and it can plug onto either forearm. There are posts on either forearm here. And you can just take this and plug it on. And he can hold that. It's like a big shield. So, hey, 
things you can do if you want to do it. Another thing you get in the box is uh, this right here, and if you open it up, see it's like a backdrop for the figure, so you can have that going on. Hey, again, things you can do if you want to do it, why not? Dare I say, why not? So there you have that, and now for Comparus Hunt! Here he is with uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime, just to give you a sense of the size of this figure, and if you want a measurement to the top of his head, he comes in at about 8 inches tall, so there you go! So that is basically it for the robot mode, and I think it looks really good. Um, one thing to talk about also is the uh, the plastic quality here. On um, the quality, actually, the figure does feel quite good. On um, the plastic, feels nice and sturdy. Even this section here, which is like mostly hollow, I mean, it still it feels good. It feels solid. So overall, I think it's made up of a pretty good quality plastic. But yeah, now let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we're going to do is just bring up this crotch flap, just bring it up to 90 degrees so you can take the waist and rotate it 180, and you can just bring that back down. Now we're going to take the forearm and rotate it in, and this section of the tank tread will just come up on a double hinge and just clip together right up here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, so just rotate that forearm in, bring this tread up. Line it up and snap it together. Once that is done, uh, this whole back panel section here will unclip. And now you want to take shoulders and just bring them up and in like that and just leave them there for now. So now for the legs, what we're going to do is we're going to take this section here. We're going to rotate it up like that. This section will come down. You can see this section kind of rotates on its own little axis there. So take these two parts of the tread and clip it together, and then this section will just raise up like that. And then you will bring this down, and all of this will just clip in right here to finish that off. And then you can just bring this section down. Once you have done that, you can open up this panel here, open all of this up. This will flip up as well. And once that is done, you're going to take the leg and it will collapse up on this double hinge. And there is a post right there that will just go into the hand. So just line all that up. And that will sit together like that. Once you have done that, you can bring this down and then bring this over. And there will be a little post port connection right here. Just drop that down and plug that in. Get that all lined up. And they have that side all done. And the second verse, of course, is just like the first. And there you have the other side done. And now you just want to make sure that these sections of the treads here are connected together like that. And everything is nice and squared up. And you got that going on. Next thing we're going to do is just start unfolding all of this here. So just open this up and disconnect these two halves. That will come up. This will flip out. This will drop down into these notches right here on either side. That will finish connecting those arms into place. Make sure it drops in between these two sections as well. Then you have these panels that will swing around. You want to get this one into position first. And then this one will just clip over it like that. And then bring this down. You have this also this little panel here that's going to flip out right there. Well, this will come down, and you have these tabs right here, which will go into these notches right there. So just bring that down, and just line everything up, like so. And it should drop right into place. And we got that done. So now we have this left right here, and what happens is this is going to break into three parts. And you're going to take the central part and put it off to the side. These two parts are now going to plug together. And this post is keyed, so it can only go in one way. It'll plug in like that. And then you flip the blade in. And this will just slot up into that section there. And then this section will just drop right in here for storage, like so. Plug this onto the main body of the tank. And there we have... Mountain Lion in his alt mode. Oh, he's hit the camera there. <laughs> there he is. 
<laughs> it has alt mode. And it is a good looking tank. A good looking tank mode. It all comes together very nicely. Very, very nicely. Just make sure everything is nice and lined up. But yeah, all in all, looks quite, quite good. Now it's getting close here so we can take a look at these details again. Lots of detailing here. Again, you got that paintwork. Make it look all dingy and dirty and war torn. Looks quite, quite good. Number 103. You can see those tank treads there. Looking really good. Maybe could have used a little more, a little more of that weathering paint in here. But still looks good. Let's see the back. Again. Nicely detailed, some nice paintwork. Back panels there. Now, one thing about the back panels. Now, these panels do... This is the only thing on this figure that legit feels kind of flimsy. Like, these panels do feel like a little... Eh, could, could have been a little thicker, but... Legit, the only thing on this figure, for me anyway, that feels kind of uh, kind of flimsy. But... Oh, no. Looks quite good, but yeah. I definitely dig it. So there is the top. There is the bottom. He has visible head, visible body syndrome. But hey, you got the little rolling wheels, so he can roll as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here it is again with Earthrise Optimus Prime. Again, just to give you a sense of the scale here of the tank mode. Now, uh, articulation-wise in tank mode, the turret can rotate, can do a full 360. The cannon here can move up and down just a little bit. This gun back here can also rotate, can do a full 360. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. And again, you can bring in this little, uh, this little backdrop here, have a little diorama going on. Hey, again, things you can do. So there you go. So there you have a mountain lion, and uh, yeah, yeah, nicely done figure here. For being my first time with this lion, um, I'm, I'm impressed. You know, it's, it's a good quality figure. Like I said, everything feels good, feels solid. Those back panels in the tank mode are like legit the only thing that feel kind of flimsy to me, but otherwise the plastic feels good quality. Um, it looks great. The robot mode looks great. The tank mode looks great. Love the detail. Love the paintwork. Good transformation. Good engineering. It's enjoyable to mess with. So overall, I am very pleased. Very, very pleased with this figure. So there you go. Now I picked this up from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Bo-Wu-Tang Mountain Lion, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! Ah, hello, fellow bots. You're new around here. Tell me, are you an Autobot? Whoa, 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 whoa. What makes you think he's one of you? Well, how do you know he's not? Now, come on, look at him. He reeks of evil. Now, well, how do you know that reek isn't of good? And you're one to talk about reeking. You just reek. A mature, real mature prime. So which is it? Whose side are you on? You know what? I've come to the conclusion. I don't like either one of you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming.